Today on All Things 80s, I got a cap rocket. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s, and if you're of a similar age to me, you'll know exactly what this is. So the cap rocket is a very simple concept where it's a plastic rocket with a metal firing pin on a spring and you would put the caps into that, throw it up in the air and when it came down the, the tension on the cap would ignite the cap and let off a big bang. Now, probably a pretty dangerous toy because I remember back in the playground in primary school there'd be about 10 of us launching these at any given time and the, the tip of it is quite sharp actually so there were a few head injuries and there was even a more dangerous version of this, which was a solid metal rocket, which had a good bit of weight behind it. So when that thing went up and came down, that could quite easily crack open a kid's skull. So I'm going to get this one opened up and give it a quick, quick once over. And then we'll go outside and we'll see if these caps from 30 plus years actually work. So anyway, this is actually a really fancy one. When I was buying these, they were all just loose in a box on the counter of a little store next to our school. And uh, you'd always go pick your favourite colour. But from what I remember, the, the body and the tip were inter interchangeable. So you could, you know, make ones that matched your favourite football team or whatever. But yeah, this is quite fancy. And this one is... Um, it doesn't have a date, but I was assured it was from the 80s. There's absolutely nothing on the back. A very sort of cheap sort of dime store type toy in America. But anyway, as I said, mine came in a box, all just loosely placed in the box. But it looks to be exactly the same as I remember it. So anyway, let's get this one opened up. And unlike mine, when I was buying them, this one did come packaged with, I think it's three rolls of caps. And from what I remember, now don't quote me on this, but I believe I was paying possibly 10 pence for one of these. And I think it was 3 pence for a roll of caps. But anyway, I'll give you a little close up there. So as you can see, uh, this uh, spring loaded tip, so the, the, the uh, roll of caps would go underneath this, throw it in the air, when it came down, bang. Uh, I'm not going to take it apart because it is quite nice like this. But yeah, like I said, you could interchange the tip and the body to make, you know, different color schemes. Now the caps, I've not, I've not held a roll of caps in my hand for it must be 35 years, probably longer. Now this is interesting. Oh, so, okay. This is actually five rolls of caps, very small rolls actually. I remember the ones I had were, you know, like this size. This, these are tiny, but the, yeah, they do come apart. So hopefully, we'll be able to get some uh, good explosive action here. What the hell's wrong with this? Ah, there we go. So as I said, you would probably tear off two or three of these caps. Now these are stuck together, which is unfortunate. Let's see. Uh, there was also another type of cap. It was like a little plastic uh, capsule that you could place on the tip of this and also cause the same explosive sounds. Now, let me try another one. Right. I don't know if they still sell caps, because I'm sure they're probably deemed to be too dangerous to give to kids these days. Most things are. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I mean, we'll see it once we get outside if this actually works or not, but you would tear off a small section like this and then place it under the uh, spring and you make sure you get the, the cap actually under the pin. So we have one ready. So it's now just a case of going outside and giving this a test. Now, if this doesn't work, there was another way we used to let off these caps and I'll try and do that as well. So let's go outside 
and see if this actually works. So I've loaded up the cap, I'm gonna see if this actually works. So keep your fingers crossed. Test number one. Not bad. So these caps do actually work after all these years, which is quite something. Try and do another, now another one I remember doing was we used to try and load up two or three caps at one time for extra explosive action. So I'm gonna try and do that. I don't know how well it's gonna work because these caps are not quite the same as I remember them being. But nevertheless, we'll give it a quick try. So try and make sure you get them lined up over each other. Okay. Not at all bad. Now, with these caps, there was another way to cause a bit of an explosion, and that involved using a little rock. Okay, so I realized that filming this outdoors wasn't the best idea, so here's an example of what it's like to scratch on these rolls of caps. So that wasn't at all bad, and the explosions, whilst they were pretty lame, weren't too bad for something that is at least 35 years old, I imagine. Uh, the caps, similar to what I remember, but the, the actual head of the cap is tiny. I remember the ones I had definitely bigger than this and gave much more bang for your buck, pun intended. So anyway, maybe you had one of these, maybe this brought back some good memories, I hope it did. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I want to give special thanks to the Patreons and ask you all to please like, subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.